Hello, this is Bill from Braymaster Technologies. We're here today to go over the procedure to find a COM port on your Atlantis hardware. So we're going to start first by plugging in our USB cable to our computer. Okay. Then we're going to actually take the other end of the USB cable. We're going to look at the back of the Atlantis here. You'll see the isolated USB input. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to plug that in. Okay. Once we do that, we're ready to take a look at our COM port. This particular Atlantis has been installed on this laptop before, so we're not going to actually walk through the installation process. However, we need to find which COM port did the laptop assign to this Atlantis. So we start by looking at the computer. All right, our first step in locating a COM port is to actually go to the control panel. You want to go to the start menu down in the lower left hand corner, click. Then as we head up the page to about halfway, we see control panel towards the right. Certain computer configurations may be slightly different, but this is pretty standard or the default placement for control panel. As I click on control panel, we notice a window appears, and at the top it says pick a category. Okay. What we're going to do is go slightly to the left of pick a category, where it says switch to classic view. This will make finding the device manager a little easier. So we're going to go to switch to classic view. We see that our window has changed and given us the classic icon properties. We're then going to locate the icon for system in the lower section. These icons are alphabetized, so you can follow it that way. When we get to system, we're going to go ahead and double click. Okay. Once we double click, we notice that the box that appears says system properties along the top. And then our next step is to locate the hardware tab. As we look down across the tabs along the top, we see one that says hardware. We're then going to go ahead and click the tab that says hardware. We'll see a screen change there on the window. And our next step is to locate the button for device manager. So as we slide slightly down, we see device manager. Our next step is to go ahead and click that. As we do that, we get yet another window appearing. This is going to show all the different hardware devices associated with the PC or laptop. What we're looking for, since our goal here is to locate the COM port in which the PC has installed the Atlantis on, we start heading down the list. Again, it's alphabetized. And as we get down towards the bottom, we see ports. Okay. Also, make a note, if you have not yet plugged your Atlantis in, there's a good chance that this ports will not exist on the list. So, if it's plugged in, we see ports, we then click the plus sign, and we notice BrainMaster Atlantis 1 Module COM4. Okay. Now, our next step is, just hypothetically, let's say that this said COM14 and we needed to change that COM port assignment. Okay, the way we do that is if we right click on BrainMaster Atlantis 1 module, okay, it's going to give us an option for properties. Okay, we're then going to click that and that is a left click. As we do that, another window appears and along the top title bar it says Brain Master Atlantis 1 Module COM4 Properties. If we look along the top, we see four tabs, General, Port Settings, Driver, and Details. We want to then locate the Port Settings tab, give it a click. We notice that there's not an option in Port Settings to change the COM port. However, there's a button called Advanced. We go ahead and we click Advanced. And we notice along top, we have a COM port number field that allows us to assign COM ports. As I hit the drop down, you'll notice 
several different COM ports. Usually we want to use between one and eight. If I was changing this, I could simply highlight two. Then go over towards the right and click the OK button. If the computer felt that there was something else assigned to that COM port, it may give you a message that says, are you sure you want to change the COM port? And as long as you're confident you won't be interrupting any other setting, feel free to click yes. Now that we've done that, we're going to also hit OK again. This will take us back to ports. What we then need to do is close the device manager. Okay, and then come right back in so that it refreshes the window. Let's verify that we are now on COM2. As I click Device Manager, we're then going to scroll down to Ports, click the plus sign, and we're going to notice that the BrainMaster Atlantis module is just now on COM2. So we've successfully located a COM port and then reassigned it to a new number. This procedure would work for any of the devices that are a USB interface. That would include the 2EB, the Atlantis 2, and the Atlantis 1. Thank you very much.